Union. I repeat, Morocco is the only African country that is not currently a member of the African Union. However, it is a member of the Arab League at present, Arab, Arab Maghreb Union, the Francophonie, Organization of the Islamic Conference, Mediterranean Dialogue Group, and Group of 77, and is a major non-NATO ally of the United Snakes. It shows you that they have no brotherhood with the Africans of the motherland. If Islam only comes into Africa at the beginning of the 7th century AD, how can this be our original religion? If Islam only comes into North Africa at the beginning of the 7th century AD, how can this be our original religion? It is nothing but a damn lie. There is no Islam before Muhammad ibn Abdullah of Arabia during the 6th century AD. And if you look on the map, it shows you that the land that we know of as Morocco today, not in the ancient time, because there was no Morocco until Islam comes into Africa, but Islam does not reach those lands until the 8th through 12th century A.D. Before that, it had been ruled by the Nile Valley Africans. It had been ruled by the Carthaginians, Carthaginians, Hannibal and his father, but at no time in the ancient world were there any Moors in that land ruling anything. Again, there are no Moors until the coming of Islam. Let's go to the Quran questions for Moorish Americans. If you look at the top to the right, you can see the two hands that are clutching. This is nothing more than a Masonic handshake. So not only have they intertwined the low life that Arab religion, they have also intertwined the white cracker Masonic Lodge into this nonsense. It is nothing more than nonsense. Now let's go to question 87. I'm going to go straight to it. I'm going to go straight to the heart of it. What is it meant by the word black? Black, according to science, means death. This is exactly what is taught in this questions for Moorish Americans. It is taught that black means death. Let me go on. Question 89. What does Ethiopia mean? Ethiopia means something divided. 93. Will you define the word white? White means purity. Purity means God. And God means the ruler of the land. If this ain't white supremacy, cracker, a rab ass religion, I don't know what the hell it is. How the hell you gonna say that black means death? And, and then you come right behind that and, and says white means purity, purity means God, and God means the ruler of the land. Should a racist low down cracker from down south couldn't have taught that shit no better? What the hell is they gonna come and bring this to us? This nigga Noble, I drew, Noble Drew Ali wasn't nothing but an Arab flunky. And I said it. You know, here you gonna come in here and disrespect black and say according to science means death. And then when you break down science itself, chemistry, chem, black, the, the black art, alchemy, chem, alchemy, the black sciences. How in the hell you gonna say that according to science, black means death? when science itself means the black art. So you can see that this brother ain't got no real science. What does Ethiopia mean? Ethiopia means something divided. It do not. Ethiopia means burnt face. Ethiopia, opt, opt, like optical. It means face, burnt face. It has nothing to do with something that is divided. So you can, as soon as you go into this, this book, you can see that it is something that has been designed by that white Arab given to Noble Drew Ali, and then he come over here and give it to you and tell you it's your original relig religion. This nigga leading you back into the arms of the Arab. Let's go to number 60. Who was God in the holy city of Mecca today to keep the unbelievers away? Angels. What is the modern name for those angels? Asiatics, what is the color of their skin? Olive, olive. So I mean, this he has no respect for the color black, but he can tell you about white 
And he could tell you that the angels who are Asiatics, their skin is olive. If this ain't a white man's religion, white Arab religion, I don't know what the hell it is. Let's go to number 52. At what place on earth was the physical part of man formed? In the Garden of Eden. Where is that Garden of Eden? In the land of Canaan, in the city of Mecca. What is the modern name for the Garden of Eden? Mecca. Now, it, as you see how the Moors try to intertwine Kemet and the Nile Valley into the Moor science. If they truly understood the Nile Valley, they know damn well ain't nowhere on the ancient papyruses and the walls of the Nile Valley where they wrote that the Garden of Eden was in no damn Mecca or in no damn land of Canaan. They spoke that they came from the beginnings of the Nile around the Great Lakes region of Central East Africa, which, which they call Tarnetaru, or the Kui land, the land of the gods, where they began. Ain't nowhere in the ancient scriptures of the Nile Valley where they taught that they came up out of some damn Canaan and that their Garden of Eden was no damn Mecca because there was no Mecca. There was no Mecca. There was no Islam before Mohammed Ibn Abdullah. These niggas have hijacked our ancient history, intertwined it with the religions of our oppressors, of our low-down Arab slave masters. And then you want to come in here and get this nigga all this credit. Why would he teach that uh, b black means death? Because the Arab in his writings in his uh, 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 paintings, always painted the devil as black, as you see right here. He always painted the devil as black. And whether, uh, uh, it, I don't know if it's a documented fact that Noble I drew, drew Ali went to Egypt, but if he did went to Egypt, at that time and during the time in which he lived, it was ruled by the Ottoman Turks. And those low lighted no good uh, Arab ass uh, Turks were some of the most vicious and most brutal genocidal maniacs on our people that has ever been recorded. Muhammad Ali, they say he, he caused so much genocide and so much mass murder in North Africa that the blood was up to his knees. They had to beg him not to kill all the Africans on the damn continent. This is how brutal the Turks were to our people. But before I even leave this, let me go to this again. This is writings about the Noble Jew Ali. In, in 1913, Noble Jew Ali warned, the cardinal customs of man do not alter the nature of truth. Legally and divinely, the definition of the word black has never been changed. According to science, he added, black means death. This nigga has been brainwashed. I don't give a damn what nobody say. He's preaching a white Arab religion. He got his knowledge from a white Turkish Arab when he went to Egypt and he then brought it back to you to, to uh, suck you off into mental, spiritual, and physical oppression. The reason why you continue to hear me use uh, bring up the references of the Turks is because in chapter 45 of the divine origin of the Asiatic nations, number seven, Noble Drew Ali teaches us the Turks are the true descendants of Hagar, who are the chief protectors of the Islamic creed of Mecca, beginning from Muhammad I, the founding of the uniting of Islam by the command of the great universal God Allah. So Noble Jew Ali admits that it started with, with Muhammad the first. And he also gives reference to the Turks as the true descendants of Hagar, who are the chief protectors of the Islamic creed of Mecca. Our genocidal oppressive maniac Turk Arab oppressor this man says is the chief protector of the Islamic creed of Mecca. If this ain't nothing but some white supremacist, Arab, oriented, oppressive of a religion, I don't know what the hell it is.